So after that marathon women's singles encounter, a very quick mixed doubles. Next up is women's doubles. And it features the world champions, Ching 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 and Jia Yifan, the number two seeds here, are up against Zhang Ye Na and Zhang Kyung On. So both these pairs are a left and right hander. And when we look at the women's doubles draw from the quarterfinal stage onwards, well, the Olympic champions, Matsutomo, who we've just seen in the mixed doubles with her women's doubles partner, Takahashi, they are the Olympic champions, winners of two Super Series tournaments this year. But with three Japanese pairs, two Koreans, two Chinese and one Australian pair, only four different nations involved. But six of the seven seeds that started the tournament, because sadly, the Olympic silver medalists, Camilla Yule and Christina Pedersen, the number three seeds, had to withdraw before the tournament got underway. And uh, that has been to the advantage of the Australian pair, Mabasa and Somerville. So we await for the arrival of the women's doubles pairs. We're seeing an awful lot of left and right handed pairs nowadays in women's doubles. We've Seem to have had a lot of successful men's doubles pairs. Fu Haifang and Chaeyoung and Bo and Mogensen, of course. And now it's happening very much in the women's doubles as well. So, the world champions, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, up against a pair that played two tournaments together in 2011, reformed their partnership at the All England of 2015, seven tournaments together in 2015, and then reformed their partnership, here they are, very recently at the Denmark Premier Super Series. So they've played two tournaments since reforming their partnership, the Denmark Open and the French Open, a semi-final and a quarter-final. And so obviously it slipped back into their winning ways very easily indeed, and that's lovely to see. They have actually been in a final of a Super Series tournament together. That was the 2015 Malaysian Open. That was actually only their fourth tournament together. So that was an extraordinary result, but of course, since then, they okay, went their separate ways. Jan Ye Na teamed up Two. with Lee So Hee, and huh? they're the current All England champions. Current world number twos, incidentally, they've gone up Lisa? since they've split their partnership, answer, huh? gone up from a career high of three to number two. Jung Kyung Ung formed a partnership with. Shin Sung Chan, with whom she won an Olympic bronze medal in Rio de Janeiro last year. So the left-hander, Jia Yifan, and the left-hander for the Koreans, Jan Ye Na. So this will be the second meeting between the two pairs because they did actually meet in the quarterfinal of the French Open and it was three thrilling games. An hour and 14 minutes for those three games in Paris. Incidentally, the Chinese pair then lost in the semi-final at that French Open. So here is Zhang Kyung Ong, 27 years of age from the coastal city of Masan. She is the same age as her partner. Zhang Ye Na will turn 28 next month, born in Seoul. And uh, Zhang Ye Na is the defending champion because a year ago she won this title with Lee So Hee. And in fact is looking to reach a fifth semi-final at the China Open, one in mixed doubles as well. So their matches so far, well, yesterday was a real battle against Chao Mei Kwan and Li Meng Yen of Malaysia, an hour and 23 minutes. 
So they obviously like the long matches, the Korean pair, in the number five seeds. This is Chen Ching Cheng, 20 years of age, from Meijou in eastern Guangdong province. She and her partner spent two weeks very recently as world number ones, but went down one place this week to number four on the world rankings. The world rankings run yesterday. Also 20 years of age, in fact, just six days younger than her partner. And as far as their matches are concerned, both of theirs in two straight games. Their match yesterday against the current world junior champion and a former world junior champion, Beck Harnart, won the world title very recently. And Che Yu Jung won the world junior championships four years ago. And they beat them in two straight games, as you saw. Yeah. So we await for the umpire to make the announcements. Richard Ting from Singapore. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Omarai, Changyana, Song Kyungang, Korea. And on my left, Chen Jingchen, Jia Yifan, China. Jiang Yana to stop to Jai Fan Love all play. Steen, I'm going to be very interested to see the world champions here this week, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, uh, because not only the point that you were making during our last quarter final, that she's now focusing at this tournament purely on her women's doubles, rather than mixed doubles as well, but also the fact that when I was in Paris watching the French Open, uh, there seemed to be a little discord between the two Chinese players. Chen Ching Chen was looking very subdued, not her normal exuberant bubbly self. No. And uh, therefore I'm going to be interested to see how they are this week here in Fuzhou. Yeah, and, and to add to that, um, the Chinese players, when they were in Denmark Open, they stayed at the same hotel as, as we did. And I... Uh, saw them um, had a couple of breakfast where they had some um, some um, it looked to me like badminton discussions with coach pan lee that's not her in the picture here that's uh jung jun the doubles head coach because pan lee is uh, attending one of the other courts with chinese participation but there was some uh, seems like tactical uh, discussions going on um, between the three of them uh, at breakfast. Quite lengthy three, discussions, one. in my mm. opinion. Ming, the other coach on the Chinese coaching bench. Oh, nice. Lovely change of place. Five, one. A very good start. And again, um, 
as we mentioned also the Korean uh, women's doubles team they've also seen some uh, reshuffles which in the beginning were quite puzzling to me because I thought Chang Yina and Lee So He they had done so well but I think maybe three losses to uh, Fukushima and Hirota uh, made um, doubles coach Rakyu Min try and look for other options and uh, of course Lee So He and Shin Sung Chan they did very well in Seven, Denmark Open one. to win the tournament didn't they win? Yeah, they were. They did, and then they lost, lost in, in the, the final in, in the French. And playing Macau as well with um, no. different partners. Different partners, and again, different partners in this tournament here. Yeah. Yeah, youngsters. Um, so it, it's it's really going to be interesting to, to see the combinations that are entered into the Super Series um, in January. In, um, Malaysia and Indonesia and India. Service over, two, seven. Rally. Well, I don't think it said how long the rally was, has it? A rally of 91 shots yesterday. Jai Fan Challenge, call out. Yeah. Smile out. No. Challenge unsuccessful. Service over. Three, eight, play. Service over. Nine, three. Oh, goodness. Is she all right? I can't watch this. Oh, that's all right. Well, it's not all right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because my goodness, mate. Knees are an issue in Babington. A number of players have had ACLs go. Yes, I do apologise. I phrase that in a, in a very poor way. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. 
Ready? Four nine. Play. Lucky net cord. And certainly the movement in that rally looked okay from Jai Fan. Well taken from Jung Kyung. Five, ten. Oh, it's a six-point advantage, and they're looking very sharp at the moment, the world champions. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking back to, um, to Denmark Open when we saw uh, the younger teammates of these two uh, Koreans, and it was totally different um, uh, look that women's doubles had. They were, they, they were really, really eager and uh, uh, working really, really hard. And I haven't really seen that here. I, I don't know uh, if they have the, um, the stamina to do it. When you say stamina, you don't mean physical fitness. You mean the, the, uh, the emotional... Yeah, the, the, the enthusiasm. The, yeah, yeah. They, they've they've been here for a long time compared to Lee Sohi and and Shin Sung Chan, whom they lost to also in in the Denmark Open, and that's what been so good when uh, mixing these two combinations up with Chang Yina and Lee Sohi. Lee Sohi, she's been working really really hard setting up Chang Yina. I don't see Jung doing the same here, being able to do the same, or the opposite way around, where Shin Sung Chan has been. Uh, working really hard in, in combination with Jung and setting her up. Yeah. I don't see anyone of these two Korean girls yet been willing to work hard enough to set the other player up uh, for some good opportunities. Just touched it. Well spotted Eight, by the umpire. 14.
Yes, that was good. That was all set up with the placement of the smash from Zhang Yena. It was. It was. This one coming up now. Yeah, that was perfect. Now, what's the umpire saying here as we watch that again? Oh, no flicking sweat away. Ready? Closing down the deficit. They are. Four straight points. Ready? Play. Well, that's the sort of shot that brought her a world championship silver medal. Whatever happened to her partner? And hey, one. Yeah, she got injured and and then she um, she made a comeback, but um, never really uh, got it going again. Played with. Um, different partners in, in, in smaller tournaments as far yeah. as I saw yeah and and um, wasn't really able to and I don't think she she's even make in the national national team I don't think so either no she's a great, great next level player as well yeah Come on. For our human. Korean coach. Extraordinary mixed doubles player and women's doubles player. And women's singles player. She won the Singapore Open when she was 17. Yeah. She never really. Women's singles, that is. She never, she never really had a, um, a good women's doubles partner that could uh, support her in, in women's doubles. Always clearly the better uh, player in when whoever she was uh, playing with from Korea. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, and I would do that every time if I was a Chinese. I would even take half a step longer forward because there's just no bite in that smash from Jung uh, Jung. Seems like she doesn't really want to work um, hard enough from the back court. It sounds a bit harsh, but um, it seems like there's uh, peace and quiet whenever she has it on the back court. Oi. Yeah, fell over, I think, just by Ready the fact on. that she was trying to get out of the way of the shuttle. Yeah. 
Gives you 10 pounds if you're in the fairgrounds and hit a player like that to fall <laughs> <Yes>. over. <laughs> Ready? Play? Return. Yeah. It's a good place for the smash. Lift here, woefully short, because it was such a good return of serve. Is that the first service error of the match? Yes, it is. Exactly. Yeah. Well played by Chen Ching Chen. Mm. He's satisfied. He likes that yeah. too. It's going to go in the video library. How to <laughs> play women's doubles. What on earth was she trying to do on the return of serve then? Yeah, but, uh, I mean, she's not having a, a good day, Jung. That was good mm. enough. 16, 19. But it seems to me like she's she's searching for the easy solutions, the ones that doesn't cost that much uh, energy. Of course, if you can win by doing that, then it's yeah. a really, really good plan. Oh, challenge that. Yeah. You may as well. You it's called out. It's game point to your opponents. Oof. Oui, that's close. That's very close. Good that we can get Hawkeye to review it. I say it caught the line. That's a great challenge. For action, in. Seventeen, nineteen, play. Just one point in it now. 19. Four straight points. So who's got the nerve? Oh, that's clever. 
Really well played by Chen Ching Cheng. This cross court smash, that's the one. Playing the unexpected. And she's earned her and Havana two game point opportunities. feel it becomes a little bit too defensive the defense of the Chinese pair mm. because there's really not that much bite in those smashes so half a step forward take the racket up and you can counter attack immediately yeah oh, game point well saved Ready? Play. Oh. 20. Bisected oh. them. Straight down the middle. So 20 all. An <laughs> extra points required. What was the score at, uh, at the interval? 11 7 or something 11, like that? 11 5. 11 5. Oh, lucky net called for the world champions. And therefore, it is a third game point opportunity. Ready? This time, they convert. 22-20, the opening game. 25 minutes needed. Uh, the Koreans played themselves back into that opening game, having been six points adrift at the mid-game interval. Two 1, 20 seconds, 1, 20 seconds. Well, certainly the Korean pair, number five Ready? seats, Chang Yeh Na and Dong Kyung Ung. Playing much Play. better towards the end of that opening game, despite the fact that they still lost the game they will be pleased that they've found their form one love well both the korean players with previous partners have reached semi-finals 
or at least a semi-final here at the China Open in women's doubles. Their opponents, the current world champions, have never got past the first round. Now that's a surprise <laughs> to me. Last year, they lost to Tanaka and Yonimoto in three games in the first round. They didn't play in 2015. I think they were busy with World Junior Championships or something, weren't they? Or yeah. Yeah. 2014, they lost to Muskins and Peak from the Netherlands. They never actually, prior to this year, got to a, a round as a women's doubles pair here. That's just wide. Good judgment. Oh, Patton Lee's back. And that means that the Danish women's doubles pair on the adjoining court must have finished. Chinese doubles pair. What did I say? The Danish. Oh, then they should have lent out their coach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness you're here to keep me right, Steve. Yeah. I'm afraid the Danish participation in women's doubles has ended in this uh, tournament. It ended before it began. Yeah, almost. Yes, of course, there was two Danish pairs, weren't there, in the draw. One pair pulled out, the other pair, Frugo and Thuerson, lost in the first round to the German pair of Hertrich and Nelta. Gone, I think. Uh, I, 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 I must admit, I don't really uh, know what happened in that first game, but I have a feeling that uh, the Koreans, they simply put the Chinese pair to sleep uh, at 11-5 because they weren't really playing that hard. And in between the rallies, they looked like they were uninterested in, in being on court. And suddenly they, they scored some easy points. And yeah. I think that was what they were looking for, to score the easy points. And it's difficult for Chen and, um, and Jia to to um, up the pace by themselves, it seems. But let's see if uh, Pan Li gets them going. I know we were discussing earlier, Steen, about uh, the theory between, uh, with all these changes of partnerships yeah. with the Koreans and so on. I mean, I have to say, I thought that Jung Kyung Rung, having won the bronze medal in Rio playing with Shin Seung Chan, I thought that it was almost as if she looked to me as if I've achieved what I wanted to achieve. And I know I'm never going to achieve more than this. Exactly. Yeah. And perhaps a new partnership will give him new inspiration. It remains yeah. to be seen. Uh, but that could but be one of the theories. But the thing is that it's an old partnership where, in yes. my opinion, the, the hierarchy is that Chang Yuna is the uh, uh, sort of captain mm. of the pair.
whatever the discussion was in Denmark over breakfast with this Chinese pair, I think it's had some very positive uh, results. Yeah, at least so far here, I, I, uh, I would love to see them play uh, Li Sohi and, and Shin Sung Chan again. Uh, that's not going to happen in this tournament. Uh, I think they're also split in next week's Hong Kong Open. Because th that urgency that um, the two younger Koreans played with, I, f I feel that could uh, create some trouble for them. Um, for uh, Chen Ching Chen and Jai Fan. Mm. Yeah, they're also split next week. Play with the same partners. Lee So He with uh, Hyo Min Kim. Mm, well taken. I have to say, this lady, Jai Fan, is playing extremely well today. Brilliant. Oh, I said she was playing extremely well. That's a fantastic defensive and shot. Four. Look at that. Moment of magic. Not that far away from the blue carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Two consecutive points on return of serves. Yeah, that's so lovely to get points like that. Yeah. to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage for number two seeds from China. Yeah, she is always very animated with her coaching, Pan Lee. It's animated too, and she's sitting in the coach's chair too. She's <laughs> quite fun to watch.
Toby Sobo. Eight, eleven. Chinese pairs scoring both their own and their opponent's points here. <laughs> that, that's, that's the way to do it. I thought initially the Koreans would be able to challenge the Chinese with the, with the solid defense. That has not been the case at all. They, they've been relying on these um, odd points, so to speak. Uh, that's what they're trying to do. Play this um, phase of the game where you fight for the attack and hope to get a poor lift from the Chinese pair and then score some points without having to work too much. Good flick. Fourteen ten. Chinese hold on, just still continue, ah, continue to attack. wasn't the best of serves, but I like that return. This is where I think you and I would like to see some urgency from the Koreans right yeah, now. Yeah. They're not that far away. No. And really show your opponents, we but want to win this. Yeah, but maybe they can't win that way. That, that, that must be their, their thought that they can't win that way. They can't win in a... In a Physical fight. And and um all credit to the Koreans for winning these uh, small ball rallies uh, mm. with soft shots trying to hit the opposite shoulder uh, of the playing shoulder on, on the net player and, mm. and so on. They're doing a good job there. For the Chinese, the, the goal would be to inject some more pace into uh, the shots and, and the rallies. Step a little bit forward in that defense there. Well, it's a couple of times the smash directly in between them has yeah. been effective. Yeah. But they also, in my opinion, they played way too defensively because there's plenty of time for Jung to get below the, the shuttle every time. So the, the first time they're in a reasonable good position, and that's it, practically with the first smash, they should um, challenge the, the Koreans a little bit more on, on mm. the, um, the second smash opportunity. <laughs> 
Turned it into a perfect drop shot. In the back level. Wakumin. Quite satisfied. I can see Pan Lee from where we're sitting. <laughs> and she's uh, using a lot of gestures to explain what she wants to do. Or what she wants her players to do, rather. Who's going for that? 17, 15. Oh, that's maybe play a little push down towards that forehand side of Chen Ching Cheng. What are you expecting coming back? Yeah. Surely a straight block. Somebody's got to cover that. Oh. Just wide. Mm, no, a bit of frustration boiling over with Zhang Yen up. 18, 15. It works so hard to get back level at 15 all. Now three quick points to the world champions. Did you, did you think it was long or...? No. It certainly <laughs> wasn't long. Wide. <laughs> yeah, what does Hawkeye say? It was wide. Good challenge. Correction, out. So... 20, match point, match point opportunities. One required. 22-20, Match yeah. lasting 48 minutes. So the world champions, yeah. Chen Ching Cheng yeah. and Jia Yifan, are through to Man, their first semi-final here at the China 20, Open. 21, As a women's doubles 50. pair, umpire confirms the scoreline. This is the final rally. Nice little block change of pace. Well, the Koreans having battled from 11.15 down to 15 all, then promptly lost the next six points. So there's confirmation. 22.20, 21.15 in 48 minutes.
So after that, women's doubles with success for the home players in the last two quarterfinals. It's time now for men's singles, and it's Victor Axelson, the newly crowned world champion and current world number one, up against Chao Tian Chen from Chinese Taipei.